Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to unroute the T-Mobile G2 slash HTC Vision. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to download the hex editor. So click on that link there and wait for it to download and save it to your computer. Okay, first we need to go to the market and search for terminal emulator and the Android terminal emulator that's free will do just fine. So install that and wait for that to finish. Okay, now we're going to open terminal emulator that we just downloaded. And we're going to type su allow Okay, so we're going to double check that we got that right. dd space if equals dev block fc 0p17 space of equals slash sd card. Okay, and then we hit enter. I should say that it transferred bytes in a certain amount of time. And then we can go to the next step. Okay, our next step is we're going to plug in the G2 via USB. And then we're going to mount the SD card so we can transfer files from it. And it should pop up there. Now we're going to look for that misc.img file, which is right there, uh, that we created using Terminal Emulator. And we're going to copy it to our desktop. And then we can minimize the SD card. And we're going to look for the hex editor.zip file that we downloaded. Extract all. Hit extract, open that, and then you'll see the .exe, we're going to right click that and hit run as administrator, and that should open this up, and we're going to go file, open, and we'll go to our desktop, and the misc.img file, okay, once we open that, you're going to see image right here, and then the number 1.22 531.8. We're going to change that from that to this. So 19.531.1. Okay, and as soon as you've done that, we're going to file, save as, misc new.img, and hit save. Okay, now we've saved the misc new.img. We're going to reopen our SD card, which should have never closed. And we're going to take misc new.img and copy it over to the root of the SD card, not inside any folders, just on removable disk and like that. Okay, and then we can close that and disconnect our phone. Okay, now that we have the new image file on our SD card, we are going to go back into terminal and we're going to type okay we're going to double check td space i f equals card slash new.img of equals dev block msc 0p17 enter should say it was transferred in a certain amount of time and now we can go to the next step okay now we're going to download the stock bootloader uh, recovery kernel rom which is the pc 10 img.zip file so click on that and download that somewhere to your computer Okay, once we've downloaded that, we're going to plug our phone in via USB. And we're going to mount it. So we can transfer files to it. There we go. And then we're going to copy the PC10IMG.zip file over to the root of the SD card. 
and wait for that to finish transferring. And again, it's on the root of the SD card, not inside any of these folders, just on the SD card itself. And also, don't unzip it. Leave it as a dot .zip. Okay, now we're going to turn the phone off. And then we're going to turn the phone back on by holding down volume down and power. So the screen comes up and it's going to look for a file and it'll find it and you'll see this little status bar start to go, meaning it's trying to load it. So give it a second to do that. Okay, once it's done, it's going to ask if you want to start the update. You're going to push volume up to begin the update and it's going to take a while, so let it sit there and do that. Okay, once it's done, you're going to already notice at the top, S is back on, so now we have security on and it's going to say press power to reboot. We're going to do that. Okay, now after we flash the PC10IMG.zip file, we're now back to stock, stock with S on. You could send your phone in for warranty at this point. It's optional though, if you want, you can flash the OTA update instead of waiting for T-Mobile to send it to you if you just want it. Um, so we'll do that. You're gonna click on this link here and download that to your computer. Okay, once that's downloaded, we're going to plug our phone in via USB and mount the SD card so we can transfer files to it. And then we're going to find our OTA update which is going to be called update.zip and we're going to pull that over and copy it to the SD card wait for that to transfer. Again, it's on the root of the SD card, not inside any folders, and also don't unzip it. Okay, before you close this out, you need to delete the PC10IMG.zip file. So click on that and delete it. And then you can unplug your phone and continue. Okay, now we're going to turn the phone off. And we're turning back on by holding down volume, down, and power. Until we get this screen. Should search for that file again and not find it. Because we deleted it. So now we can push volume down, select recovery, and wait for the phone to boot into recovery. Okay, once the phone gets to the screen, this is the stock recovery image. You have to hold volume up and power to get the menu to come up and then volume down to apply SD card update.zip push power to select it it's going to find it and start to flash it okay then it'll say uh, reboot via menu to complete installation so we're going to push power on reboot system now and it's going to finish its installation Okay, once the phone boots back up, you'll see this little system software update message saying congratulations. So now you're on the OTA update, you are fully stock and ready to go.